earlier this month, I got to check out a couple of really cool new headsets coming to market soon from the folks at Pimax. They invited me down to San Jose to check out the Pimax Crystal Super 8K Micro OLED version and the Pimax Dream Air DVT sample, which is a pre-production model of a device that's going to ship later this year. So this is my favorite kayak VR uh, experience. I don't have to row because it actually does like a guided tour, so I don't have to worry about the controllers. So let's see. Is it supposed to be really dark right now? It is. It's nice. As I get closer to that lighthouse, it gets brighter. Um, but what I wanted to do was test the black levels because oh, okay. this is a micro OLED display. Oh, I see. So what I can say for sure is like blacks are very black. This does feel like I'm in a night scene. Whereas if I was using something like a Quest or an LCD device, typically you're going to see like that kind of bright behind it, if that makes sense. Um, whereas this feels very natural, very night-like. You can see the shadows much better, um, much clearer shadows. Um, so similar to like my Galaxy XR also has my like OLED display. So as you can see, I, I don't know if you can see on the screen right now, it's getting brighter as I get closer to the lighthouse, also from the moonlight. The moon is behind me, I can't really turn around because the cable I'm kind of nervous to do that. Um, but it gets brighter and brighter as you get closer to this lighthouse and around these rocks. It's the Costa Rica free roaming day. Jungle. So now I'll be able to see the brightness of the sun also. And hopefully no reflections because one of the things that um, with OLED displays with Fresnella is um, this is a more uh, concave, I believe, lens. Um, similar to the old Gear VR lenses, how they were concave. Um, so there's no... Um, <laughs> Yeah, there's there's no real halo effects or, or god rays or anything. Like um, and again, I think that has to do with the combination of both the displays and the lenses. Of course, birds up there, right? Yeah, this is really impressive. Uh, we do have a. The sound is very good too. It's using off your speakers with the head strap. Um, my Pimax 8KX has, I believe, the same setup to be honest. It's very, it's modeled after the Valve Index's off your speakers. That's one of the things that Pimax has always done is they've done a, they've taken design cues from what's worked from other companies. But yeah, this is, if I get up close to these rocks over here, I can see all the detail, all the different colors, all the different pigmentations and everything. And actually, as I get really so close, though, it like kind of blurs a bit, which is interesting. Like, right here, it's perfect. But if I get closer, it actually gets really blurry. Like right here, it's super blurry. It's interesting. Because it looks really, like, right here, it's pretty much photorealistic when I get close up. Is, does it do that on the PC screen also? Well, uh, get close up. The overlap can be enlarged. Looks we pretty normal to me. Because, uh, yeah, it gets really blurry here. Uh, here. So, we can, so we can make the, the horizontal like thing yeah. smaller, but at the same time also enlarge with the, the overlap. Uh, by the just let me see if I can. Yeah, I'm moving. Mean, okay, so there we have the, the uh, game pad. And then you use the joystick to just move around. The frame rate is not fully perfect. Yeah, as you can see, it's a very high fidelity game. So um, this type of experience can be really immersive, particularly when you have a high quality display lens combination like this. Oh, yes. Yeah, it, 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 it doesn't look that different from the Super, to be perfectly honest. No, it's just a couple of degrees less. Yeah. Uh, it's but it's so much smaller and lighter. Indeed, it's a... Uh, 
From from a sound perspective, yep. when when the Dream Air launches, uh, what type of speakers will it be using? It's going to be kind of like Quest okay. kind of speakers, which are built in into the default strap. Not going to be super fancy, but we will have alternative uh, straps with, with like kind we'll, of D-mass audio. And you'll, so okay, so you'll be able to like slip off. Yeah, the yeah. it's going to be a modular. Uh, uh, okay, yeah. similar to everything else. Yeah, right. totally makes sense. So I'm in half life Alex, and I'm using the. This is the design validation prototype, right? Yes, DVT sound. Yeah, of uh, the Pimax Dream Air. Now I've just used the Pimax Crystal Super. Um, with the micro OLED displays and similar displays uh, with even, I would say, similar field of view, but in a so much smaller package. Um, one of the things that is really impressive with this type of display and also the lenses that I'm actually using is the fidelity of the text. So as I'm looking at the text here, and it says no disauthorized personnel only, different languages and things of that nature, uh, very sharp, very readable and also natural text quality there. And then as I go wander around, and I'm using teleport to just kind of see different scenes here. Because again, you see the shadows and the darkness and the black levels and things of that nature. And with this type of micro OLED display, you see so much more black and not a lot of what I would say front light almost. It's not really backlight, it's like it's in front of your face all the time with like an LCD display. Um, so again, very sharp visuals, very clear. Um, again, crystal clear quality. Um, looking at this little lead growing here, again, you're, you're seeing um, more lifelike representation than what was something like a Quest device. Um, because it's sharper image quality at higher resolution, uh, again, with a bit more field of view as well. And the comfort is really good as well. Again, this is not the final design of this device. This right now is just using uh, a somewhat modified HTC Vive uh, Deluxe head strap. Um, final design is going to have an actual self-ratcheting uh, mechanism on the back. So from a field of view perspective, what, what I really like about both of these headsets is you've got a wide field of view. Um, the field of view feels like if you're looking at a widescreen TV as opposed to... So I'll try to use my hands to describe. So we're looking at like this. Whereas with a Quest, it's about here. So it's a significant difference between the two, probably around 12 to 15 degrees difference, um, and very noticeable. Um, when, when you're looking at it from the perspective of a vertical field of view, it's a little bit more narrow than the horizontal. So it's not all encompassing like you would have with an older Pimax headset like the 8KX, uh, which I have at home, um, where it's more, um, surrounding, uh, but it's, it's more like, like I said, if you're looking at a larger screen in front of each eye, um, and in a manner that everything on that screen is sharp from edge to edge, uh, which is impressive. And again, it's such a small form factor as well. It almost feels like I'm wearing a pair of swim goggles almost on my face, if that makes sense.